Borderlands 2 once again drops you into the wastelands of Pandora as one of the four character classes, the Berserker, Assassin, Siren, or Commando. You'll be fighting to stop Handsome Jack from accomplishing his goals, awakening ancient evils, and generally doing bad guy stuff from his ever visible moon base in the sky. The town of Sanctuary acts as a main hub in Borderlands 2. Inside, you'll find familiar faces like the crazy Dr. Zed and the weapons dealer Marcus. Looks like it works to me. Things work pretty much as they did before. You'll be visiting shops or vending machines to buy and sell items and check out items of the day, or gathering quests from NPCs or the old heroes from the first game, like Lilith and Rowan. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. New to Borderlands 2, players have access to Claptrap's super secret stash, which allows items to be shared between your characters on your profile. New character customization options are also available, allowing you to choose between different character heads and change your character's color palette. Outside Sanctuary, in an area of the wasteland called the Tundra, you'll run into the world's most dangerous 13-year-old, Tiny Tina, who sends you on a quest to fetch her tea party guests, including a doll, a top hat wearing glass jar, and a bandit called Flesh Stick. When you're ready to start the party, please smack Mr. Flesh Stick in his big face. <laughs> Once we gathered all of her friends together, we were forced to defend Tina's tea party from waves of bandit attacks. <laughs> New enemies like the monstrous Goliath and the shield-bearing torturer appeared among the regular bandit rabble. Shooting the helmet off the Goliath puts him into a berserker rage, which causes him to attack everyone nearby. But he gets stronger with each kill, so you have to be careful. The torturer is a bit more creative and straps a midget to the front of his shield. Killing the midget doesn't help much, but shooting off the little guy's restraints causes him to distract the torturer so he could get around the shield and deliver a shotgun blast to the face. From what we've seen, Borderlands 2's characters are outlandishly hilarious and over the top. The combat is incredibly deep and varied, and the world is humongous. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out GamesRadar.com for more news, reviews, and previews on Borderlands 2.